What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is my thoughts about Samsung's most recent event where they announced the Galaxy Note 5 and the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Alright, so the Galaxy Note 5, let's start with that first, is basically an updated version or an upgraded version of this guy right here, the Galaxy Note 4. And this is basically uh, Samsung's um, a big phone right here so it's in the big phone market or the phablet uh, however you guys want to refer to it and then the S6 Edge Plus is basically a, a bigger version of the S6 Edge that we've seen uh, released earlier this year with the Galaxy S6 and let's talk about the design about it so you guys have seen my most recent recap video I did have a couple pictures or um, um, several pictures in there you know, showing the design of the Galaxy Note 5. And the Galaxy Note 5 pretty much replicated the same design as the Galaxy S6. With glass on the front and then glass on the back and then has a stronger metal you know, frame around the phone itself. And not only that, but it has the curved the edges on the back right here. And I just, uh, I didn't think about this until I saw the event and I just noticed this. The Galaxy Note 4 is also curved right here, if you guys can see that. I didn't notice that until you know, they mentioned it in the Galaxy Note 5, and I just noticed it right now, believe it or not. That's, uh, that's why I'm mentioning this. So, you know, they, they did take this uh, design right here from the Note 4, improved it, and then tried to make it a, a little bit lighter as well. I don't know about you know, making it a little bit smaller, because it's still a big phone with 5.7 inch you know, on the screen. But, hey, you know, at least it won't be as heavy uh, as this thing right here, which right now I don't feel like it's that heavy, and th it's even lighter when I remove the battery. And that is one thing that I want to talk about, is uh, if the battery is removable. No, it is not. So, it pretty much did the same thing that the Galaxy S6 experienced, where you don't have the ability to remove the battery anymore. So, no more of this back plate right here, that you can take off of your device right here and reveal is your battery, your SIM card, and then your micro SD card if you do have one in there. That's another thing. This is not micro SD or the Galaxy Note 5 does not have expandable storage anymore. So you're not going to be able to uh, pop in a micro SD card for more storage. You basically have an option for 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes. The same goes for the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, and uh, by all means, between the two phones, they're actually the same thing, believe it or not, uh, when you're talking about the technical specs. You know, same cameras, same screens, uh, same resolution, same amount of RAM, 4 gigs of RAM in, in both of them. The only difference is that the Galaxy Note 5 has an improved S Pen, whereas the S6 Edge Plus doesn't. And the S6 Edge Plus, I believe, was a little bit smaller than the, the Galaxy Note 5, even though it has the same screen size or whatnot, maybe it's a little bit smaller in terms of thickness, and it still has the curved edges on the screen itself, whereas the Note 5 has the flat screen, and it's got the curved back. Uh, and I guess the Note 5 is uh, even more curved uh, than the Note 4 right here on the back. So, uh, the same thing goes for the S6 Edge Plus, no expandable storage, no removable battery as well. So, uh, the reason why Samsung is doing this is, I remember back at their Galaxy S6 event, they went with the non-removable battery is because in the past they were not confident in that yet, and they feel like their devices weren't ready to have a trusting battery life where you don't have to worry about replacing the battery at all. And now with the Galaxy S6, they finally did it where the battery is internal and you can no longer remove it. You know externally like you can with the older devices right here and that may be a good or a bad thing for me i like the option of having the battery removable you know because if i ever need to i can and then just replace the battery or what i could do is buy an extra battery and if i'm going to be out and about all day long and i have to uh, uh, recharge my uh, my battery i don't have an outlet nearby what i can do is take the dead battery out put that away, put, you know, take the fully charged battery, put that in place, and then just start using my phone again. I mean, yes, you could take these portable battery packs and then 
uh, you know, charge them while you're on the go. But the thing is, with these devices right here, they have the adaptive fast charging feature. And I don't know any battery pack out there that you know, will charge uh, these devices fast and quickly as the adaptive you know, fast charging you know, that you get from Samsung when you get your device. You know, that little wall plug that's made specifically for adaptive fast charging. So, uh, you know, the fact that the battery is internal, uh, it's, it kind of reminds me of the iPhones, believe it or not. Because the iPhone, you got nothing. No removable battery, no expandable storage. You're basically stuck with what you get. And uh, for Apple's case, I don't feel like it's really worth it in terms of like how the software is uh, you know, being kind of stale and just simple. Uh, whereas, you know, you know, Samsung's version of Android Touch was, yeah, it's a little bit like the iPhone. You know, maybe it's not as advanced as the HTC Sense UI, but you know, it's a little bit more advanced than the iOS operating system because I can you know, pretty much do whatever I want. Like, I actually downloaded a few apps on this thing that let me customize the software a little bit, such as, like, you know, increasing ringtones. Before you know, I get a phone call, I have it set on ring. The ringtone volume starts at low first, and then it'll increase. And Samsung actually, from what I've discovered, removed the feature for you to turn that feature off. They removed this since the S5. I don't know why, but all I have to do is go down an app in the Google Play Store, and basically it's running automatically. And now every time my phone rings, no more decreased volume, and then it starts to increase. So I feel like while I don't agree with the fact that this stuff is uh, not removable, uh, I, I will say though, it, it might be worth it if you're uh, not you know, so concerned about your storage. Because if you don't store a lot of stuff on here and you get a 32 gigabyte configuration, maybe you'll be all set. And if you do have a lot of storage and you get the 64 gigabyte version, it's either you're all set or you need a little bit more space. What I have in the Note 4 right here is 32 gigabytes internally. Then I have a micro SD card with 64 gigabytes. That 64 gigabyte card holds my music, my pictures, my videos on that single card, that little tiny card right there that's smaller than the micro SIM card that's in this phone. And the internal space, I'm using that specifically for uh, stuff that's specifically for the phone, like apps and then, you know, if I get GPS apps and it needs to download some maps onto my phone, that's fine and because that's my offline GPS app right there. So I'm basically trying to manage my storage in two ways and try to keep them separate. That's and I was not prepared for the battery to die uh, while I was filming. So what I was trying to say was like, while the battery uh, is not removable, I don't feel like uh, the battery was my biggest concern to start with, but it is something that I would have not preferred at, in the first place. But my biggest concern is the uh, micro SD expansion because for these two phones to not uh, be able to expand your storage with the micro SD card, uh, you know, it, it, it just kind of like it keeps me a little bit disorganized like I like to organize my stuff you know not just physically in my room you know it could be anything my room car uh, my computers make sure all the files are uh, in the way I wanted to be and that they're organized and separated from each other and when I see that stuff gets cluttered up and they're everywhere I get frustrated and yeah, you, know, you know, that's one thing that I'm concerned about because I definitely had a concern like that on the iPhone before. And the problem with the iPhone was you, you, know, you barely can do anything. Uh, I mean, you, know, you can't move files around, uh, uh, insert files into you know, folders. You know, you can only do it with apps. Whereas, you know, Samsung right here, I have the My Files app right here. I can manage uh, my folders and files, whatnot. And so, uh, that's... Just something for my personal preference. I don't know about you guys, so, uh, you know, this just all goes down to personal preference. Me personally, you know, the internal battery life and the uh, non-expandable storage, I've, I wish that Samsung hasn't done that. And I'm hoping in next year when they announce uh, a new set of devices that maybe they might bring those back the removable battery and the removable or the expandable storage because 
this just gets me wondering how many people actually use the expandable storage on their devices and how many people actually had to take the battery out for whatever purpose if they needed to reboot their phone and there was no way to do it through the buttons if they had to replace their battery or if they needed extra battery packs you know I'm just curious how many people actually does that and if a lot of people do that Hopefully Samsung will bring these guys back, the removable battery and the expandable storage. If not too many people uh, have done this so many times and not too many people use the expandable storage uh, with the micro SD card, chances are Samsung may never bring it back again. So I'm hoping next year uh, that they'll bring it back, but it's not going to be guaranteed. Uh, that's just something uh, I hope for. Now, will I be getting the Galaxy Note 5 or the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus? In this case, no, because I just got my Galaxy Note 4 back in May, and I'm actually pretty happy with it right now. Uh, I mean, yes, it's not the latest and greatest, and yes, the Note 5 uh, coming out next week on the 21st. Uh, I mean, I just got this phone, and I'm still uh, learning my ways around Android right now, so I'm actually pretty happy with my Note 4, and I'm going to stick with it. Uh, and, you know, if I do ever want to upgrade, hopefully it'll be a good one, which I'm sure it will be. Or maybe I might jump from Samsung to HTC, try out their HTC Sense UI. Mm, would I be going back to iPhone? Well, here's the thing. My iPhone's sitting right here behind my desk. And there's my iPhone. Lately, I've been having problems with it. Like, I'll leave it at a full charge. Wake up in the morning. Unplug it from the charger. Turn it off. And then, you know, just leave it off for half a day and then or maybe hit it until 10 o'clock at night start turning it on it boots up gets it to the lock screen then it just shuts off because the battery's dead i put it back in the charger it reads 100 percent iphone 5 battery or samsung galaxy note 4 battery my iphone didn't break by the way it just fell on my bed so that's it thank you so much for watching and please subscribe rate comment also check the description below for my social media links twitter and instagram and what do you guys think about these two devices will you be getting them yes or no will you stick with your iphone will you get rid of your iphone for these devices or your htc or motorola for these devices and if i were to get these devices which one would i have gotten definitely the note 5 because even though I don't use my S Pen very often, I could see a use for it. And I just can't see myself using the phone when the screen is curved. I don't know. I, I just feel kind of weird about it. Maybe if I get used to it, it'll grow on me. But, you know, at the same time, I really like the Note 4 and the size of it. And if the S6 Edge Plus is a little bit smaller, I don't know how I like that. But... Uh, you know, like I say, I can go with either one device, but if I wanted to choose, I'd probably take the Note 5 for sure. Alright, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.